We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Possa Mashangwani, who is General Manager for Consumer Affairs for the Independent Communications Authority of South Africa. Mr. Mashangwani, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me to the interview of this very, very important conference of the world. I'd like to start off by talking about what was going on last week. Uh, you spoke out very passionately in Friday's plenary about the importance of accessibility provisions to be included in the ITRs. Why is this so important in your opinion? It is very much important because as we have gathered here, where we are from various countries, people that are here are from the more developed nations and also from the less developed nations. And uh, so the problem of uh, promoting the rights and the interests for persons with disabilities is not a, su such a big problem for the more developed nations, but it is for the less developed nations because uh, uh, as member states of the United Nations, they need to account somehow to the United Nations about uh, what they are doing in the area of uh, disability. So we are here to try and uh, debate and convince the more developed nations to make sure that they support us and they agree with us to include uh, the issue of accessibility to international communication into the ITRs because by so doing you'll find a situation whereby um, the governments in the less developed nations put that as uh, their uh, policies and ultimately uh, that will end into a legislation that will make sure that uh, the issue of uh, accessibility is promoted in those countries. And we know that when they go to the United Nations to report about what progress they have made, they will also be asked about uh, accessibility, uh, particularly in terms of international communication. And there's no country that will not like to talk positively about the progress they've made in their country. So that is why we request and we plead and we are hopeful that uh, the issue of uh, ITR will be placed in the, of the accessibility will be placed in the ITRs uh, when plenary seats tomorrow or today. Now one would imagine that helping people with disabilities access ICTs uh, would be something that most people would support. Uh, why is there so much of a debate around this? Well, there's a lot of debate about this because, uh, you know, uh, persons with disability have been elected for a long time. And uh, it's a fact that uh, in other countries, other nations, those people, we will never see them, they are hidden away. So now we are in the new era whereby we must make sure that they are also coming out and participate like all other uh, able uh, persons. So for us who are uh, able, we have to make sure that we lay a foundation for them so that uh, wherever we're working, particularly here in the telecommunication sector, we must make use of this platform that we have to make sure that uh, we create the conducive environment for them to participate in this uh, uh, in international telecommunication. So that is why it is so important for all the nations to participate in that because uh, um, they have got knowledge, they have got skills, they've got some other things that the able people are not even. But if we interact with them, that is where we'll make sure that uh, we as the nation of the, of the world uh, work together, we move together with them and then they are not left behind because they are also human beings. Now, since Friday, you've been lobbying very hard to get other countries to support your cause. Are you confident that you will succeed? I am very, very confident and I always pray God every day, um, as long as I'm here in Dubai, to make sure that uh, uh, our call, our proposal for inclusion of the accessibility in the ITR should be adopted. So I'm very confident because uh, uh, most of the uh, developed nations uh, have uh, indicated support for the call that I've made, particularly when we're in our own ad hoc meeting. So that gave me a lot of confidence that we will succeed in this uh, 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 plea for us to include the accessibility into the ITRs. Now, another subject that uh, I know you've been very passionate about is e-waste. E-waste is a growing problem that's not going to go away. Uh, what proposals are up uh, before this conference to deal with this? Well, e-waste is another area that is... Uh, uh, cause for concern, more especially for the less developed nations, because you know that uh, um, as we are going to uh, migrate into uh, digital, most of the uh, electronic equipment that are currently being used will be dumped uh, elsewhere. And uh, the destination in most cases is the, uh, the area where you find the less developed nations. And that is uh, also a cause for concern, because those electronic equipment, some of them 
have got uh, chemicals that made them that are hazardous to the health of people. And so they will be dumped in uh, those uh, countries. And then later, you find that they are obsolete and they are dumped by the very same nations elsewhere. And you find that maybe children are playing with them. And as a result, they get uh, sick. Or even maybe um, uh, it, it can be fatal to them. So that is why we are lobbying that e-waste should also be put into the ITRs. Um, because if we do have that, we'll find a situation whereby there's a control between the um, the less developed nations and also the developed nations in terms of uh, the issue of uh, e-waste. So why is it important to include this in the ITRs as opposed to letting countries deal with this on an individual basis? Uh, something that is um, a health hazard uh, is a cause for concern and then if you want to have it um, 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 having a strong position, it needs to be in the treaty whereby the nations of the, of, of the world will sign that treaty. And then if they have signed the treaty, you will find that there's compliance with uh, the treaty. And then, so that's why we request that it should be in the ITR, because if it is not there, um, no one will care about it. But if it is in the treaty, you have to account about the, that uh, issue at the United Nations. And then so, as I said earlier on, everybody would like to make sure that when you account to the UN, you account positively and you are proud of what you account there so that other people can also um, uh, uh, um, follow suit to, uh, to your, your country. Professor Mashangwani, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much and uh, I wish you well in all your endeavours for this uh, very lovely conference. Likewise. Thanks.